All right, welcome to our scene, Amaraxella cateralis, represented by this mozzarella cheese found in this convenience store. Actually, this cat over here really found the mozzarella cheese, and we'll get to the cat soon. But first, let's take a look at this mozzarella bag over here. We note that they misspelled mozzarella, and they spelled it as Maraxella cateralis. And this works out really well, because it reminds us that our scene is about Maraxella. Now, this company is named Gram Negative. Perhaps the CEO has some fondness for Gram Negative bacteria, so he names the company Gram Negative. And this reminds us of Gram Negative, that Maraxella is a Gram Negative bacteria. Actually, you may have noticed this monster looking thing, which also snuck into the store. This is actually what Maraxella kind of looks like. It's a gram negative diplococci. We note that it's gram negative because this monster over here is red, and bacteria that stain red in gram staining are gram negative, and that's why they stain red, because they don't retain the dye in gram staining. Okay, so Maraxella is a gram negative diplococci. Now this company of mozzarella cheese over here is very careful to inform the buyer that their cheese requires oxygen. And this reminds us of aerobic, and Maraxella cateralis is aerobic. It requires oxygen. They're also careful to inform us that their cheese comes from ox milk. Quite interesting, ox milk. Well, don't worry about the milk, but worry about the ox. Ox reminds us of oxidase positive, and Maraxella cateralis is an oxidase positive organism. This separates it for, for example, Salmonella and Shigella, which are not oxidase positive. Now let's get back to the cat. This cat over here found the mozzarella cheese. This cat shows up in our catalase positive organism videos, such as Staph aureus. So Maroxella, besides being aerobic and oxidase positive, is catalase positive. Wait a minute. This cat got his foot stuck in some ear model over here. This ear model over here reminds us of ear infection. And since the cat's foot got stuck in the middle component, we're talking about otitis media. And this reminds us that Maroxella cateralis causes otitis media, and this is especially in children. So if on exam you see a diplococci gram-negative bacteria causing an ear infection in a child, you know you're probably talking about Maroxella. Here we have this kid in the convenience store who is coughing because he is sick, so he doesn't realize the craziness that's going on right in front of him. But what we want to focus on is Slob, his nickname, Slob. And this reminds us of four conditions which Maroxella can cause. S for sinusitis, L for laryngitis, O for otitis media, which we already mentioned, and B for bronchitis. Again, four conditions which Maroxella can cause. Let's end off this scene with a word about treatment for Maroxella. And that's represented by this sign over here, Act Fast. I'm not sure why the store owners put Act Fast over here, but Act Fast, or Act, reminds us of treatment for Maroxella. A for amoxicillin coagulinate, C for cephalosporins, and T for TMPSMX. These are used in the treatment of Maroxella. But as drug resistance develops, doctors may prescribe different antibiotics. All right, I hope you enjoyed this scene on Maroxella cataralis. Take care.